Hi there. Uh, tonight I will show you how to add some custom post type and uh, using uh, CPT UI plugin and uh, what actually it did. So basically for WordPress website, uh, we can create some post and we can uh, add the post, add all the posts from here. And sometimes some client wants some add, want to add some event or portfolio or service. They want like this, but it should be different name. So for that we need a, we need to add a plugin. The plugin name is custom post type. And search with CPT. So this is the main plugin, custom post type UI. I actually uh, add some event with WordPress. Post will different and the event will be different. Okay, so the plugin is added. I want another plugin which is SCF Advanced Custom Field. So this is the SCF plugin. And for adding the icon like marketing analytics, the different different icon, uh, we need to add another plugin which is called Okay, so I will add the uh, icon later. So first of all, go to custom post type and add custom post type. Okay, say the plug, uh, the word is event. Plural should be events, singular should be only event. At the post type. Okay, uh, already event is created there. Where is it? Uh, this is post, and we are getting a, an extra option which is called event. But see, on the post there are categories and tags, but on event I don't get that. So that's why we need to go CPT and add taxonomies. So we can add some event with category or tag. So that's why we're writing event categories. But, or event category, okay. And for plural, it should be event categories. For singular, it should be event category. And it will go to event option, add the taxonomy. So on event, I'm getting event categories right now. Okay, so I want to add some categories for event. So right now the category can be Facebook event. Add the category. So it's already added. Right now I will add an event. Say from Facebook, I'm gonna add a event. So this is the event title. So this is the description. I'm taking the description from here. And we need to add an image as event image. Set featured image. Okay, I already add the image. Then publish the event. Okay, we can view the event. Okay, so this is the event. And as 
post, the event is also shown. So we can uh, add some different post on post get post option. We can add the event on event option. We can uh, design the archive template of all event. And also we can design different, different uh, archive template for event or post. I'm coming to that. Okay, two important thing, uh, go to custom post type and edit the post type event that I created already. Okay, uh, after editing that search has archive, you must click on true for has archive. And there are another option which you have to check, which is custom field to add some field. You can add the comments, you can add the author. Okay, just click on custom field and comments. That's it. And has archive. Okay, right now I will design the template. Okay, so right now what we're doing, uh, we will design the single and archive template for event. So what we need to do, go to Elementor, you need to have Elementor and Elementor Pro, both plugin, uh, go to template and add new. So I will add archive template for event. Uh, I write the name event archive create template. At first check Elementor and settings. Then see all are here tick. Then save. Then template add new. Click on archive, event archive. Great. It's taking time to load the page. Uh, we can uh, get some template uh, for the event archive. So these are the archive templates. I'm taking this one. Okay, so I'm creating from myself. So taking the archive title.
and taking the archive post. And it should contain three or four or two posts for each page. And you can choose card option, which will look like this. Taking two posts for each uh, row. And finally, I'm going to publish at condition, not all, not all archive. I want the archive for event archive. Okay, then save and close. Okay, I already published it. Okay, I already published this. Okay, so right now I'm going to exit into my dashboard. And from templates, I will get that template on save templates. So this is the event archive template and I'm getting the short code. Take the short code and add a page. Named all events. All events and pick the short code and I just put the short code here then go to publish. Okay, then uh, go to uh, your menu from appearance then add all event page for your menu then save the menu I'm getting the event, all event here. Okay, so we finally get the all events and I actually add some events to show you here. So this is the event archive. You will get all of the events here. And when we will click on the event, it will go to single event. You can also design the single, single event from the template part of Elementor. So I hope I uh, can show you how to add an event option. Basically, this is actually alternative version of post. Uh, some may uh, add some post with different thinking and some add some events on different thinking some may add uh, mentors or service or uh, products uh, they want different different tabs different different option here and you can easily manage that with custom post type so we just need a plugin custom post type ui and acf for advanced custom fields and we can add this from custom post type, the post type and taxonomy will help you to add the event categories. So you can create the categories, create the events and you can design all of your event from event template, element to template and taking the short code, you can add this short code on a page like all events. And you will get all of the archive events like that on a page. So I hope you all get the uh, videos and I hope this will help you to make some development part of WordPress using a simple plugin. Thank you.